Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. We are drafting a vintage cube. Hopefully less loose than the last one we drafted. Um, lots of really good options here actually. Ashen Riders, cool reanimators. I don't think we take it so highly. Skyclave Operation is just good. Straight up. Source Force of Will. I could also see an argument for Gonti because that card's pretty fun. Love me a Force. I do like Force. Force is a really cool card. I think Force is probably what I want to go for here. Hold on. There you go. Love it, Diane. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's... That's true. Your best line in that game was cast Thoughtseize on turn four. Not cast Thoughtseize on turn four. End of turn, mannequin, bait out the counter, untap, wish, claw for corpse dance, entomb, corpse dance, emerald cool. The problem with that is they, they just get to keep the thing, though, right, BK? Like, we don't have guarantees that we're attacking with the emerald cool, so they get to keep a talisman, which seems pretty rough still. I mean, it might have been the best play. Yes, I like the counter spell here. Baleful Strix is really good. When will I post that deck to YouTubes? Um, oh my god, hold on. I didn't record it. I might still splice it out. I kind of love that deck, even though we got browned. I'm not sure, Seth. I'll have to look. I, I, I didn't record that one. Well, it's actually easy. It's easy enough, Monty, because you can dig it out of the VOD. It's just a little more complicated because the way I send it to the, the people who edit my stuff is you just send it as a, um, as a movie file. What do we take here? I could see elves. <laughs> it's lost to time. It kind of is lost to time. I could see Gataxian Probe because that's something easy to discard to Force of Will. I don't think it's Shieldred. I could see Bitter Blossom. I kind of want to take Gitaxium Probe here. I don't know. More blue cards when we have a Force of Will just seems like good value. They get Annihilator 6, but one thing you can do is wait one more turn. Sure. All right. I got you, BK. Just show you to picking. <laughs> Tell them I got a trophy. <laughs> just pretend that from here on out, we won all the matches. All the rest of the three matches, except there was only one left. Um, Rage with a Copter. The Copter is pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we want here. Yeah, I was looking at the balance, actually. I wonder if that's any good. Let me just take balance. I think this card is just one of the better cards in here. I was kind of interested in it. I don't know that we necessarily just want to be uwu, but we'll see. Balance is off-brand power. <laughs> it's like the knockoff cereal that's still pretty good. Um, I like Spell Pierce. I could see Bloodstained Mire or Windswept Heath if we are taking a balance, but I kind of like Spell Pierce since we took a Force of Will. Library of Alexandria. Kind of hard to pass it for Misty Rainforest, though. The Signizzle's not terrible. Chat, what was it like? Um, what was this? What was the limited format with the Titans like? I guess they were mythic, so like if you just played against one, you just knew you were going to lose. But they were like one set before I started playing, so I never actually got a chance to play with them. But I love the Titans so much. I think they're so iconic. Am I going to make a bet for this deck too? Yes, I think a, deck, a bet just went live, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. Let me see if I can see it. They were in multiple core sets? Oh, I thought they were just like an M11. How many wins will this deck get? Prediction ended five minutes ago. Two or more at 63%, one or fewer at 37%. 130,000 to go to milk and bag and 14 others if we get there. They were in two cores in a row. Was it like 11 and 10? 11 and 12. I started playing at M13, so I barely missed them. I'm going to take the Marari Conjecture because this card's really cool. Also, with this card, we can maybe get there on a Time Walk deck that takes four turns in a row. Oh, BK, I have a question. There's one of the achievements that is give up Wish Claw Talisman then immediately like get it back in your deck. But we gave them a wish called Talisman and immediately attacked with Emrakul. Does that count? I like Scrubland, TSG, or Swords to Plowshares here. Yeah, I kind of like the Scary Gary, actually. This card's really cool. What did I write? I don't remember. Let me see. Oh my god. Gandhi Wield? Amazing. 
That is so freaking good for us. Hey, Slam Dunk. Welcome. The Lord of Luxury. Um, Let me see if I can find Wish Claw. Bounce, kill, wait. Oh! Bounce, kill, Wish Claw after using it. You know what? That totally counts. I don't even have to run this one by BK. Hold on. Let me make sure that my thing is selected. All right. Yeah, it was selected. Um... I guessed Reginald, question mark? Wait, can we do predictions of the Japa before the games? Um, so yes, we the mods can choose whenever they want to run them. I'm cool and I... Okay. God, I spelled it all wrong. I'm just going to write it. I'll write a longer description later. Pheomancer looks pretty good. I guess Concealed Courtyard if we think we're going to play Balance, but we're looking like a blue-black deck right now. <laughs> oh, you're drafting her in a cube deck? It does look a little bit like that. Except for the Force of Will. I'll take this. Over under a number of days before Christmas and Mozart gone. Now that you reminded me, it's gone way down. But I, I have no guarantees, dude. <laughs> I'm not sure. Could be any amount. Take a wildfire for the sideboard. I wish there were an, an achievement that was lose with progenitus because we could tick that off easily. We were trying to. Recruiter. I might keep some of the cold looking ones, Molly, and take away the Christmas ones. Like the ones that are presents and stuff don't make any sense. The cold seasonal ones I think make like work fine. The hats and stuff. Also, this is a more interesting line, Molly. Over under on how long my Christmas tree is going to be up this year. <laughs> All right, we can take Control Magic, Collective Brutality, Ugin Spear Dragon. Or if we want to pivot back to White, we can take Elspeth, but I don't think it's a good pick. January 15th. Oh, Synth... Since line is too low, man. <laughs> the line, I think, is whether or not it'll happen in January or February. Or March. Uh, I think I'm going to take... God, I really like Ugin. Ugin's a cool card. It's so expensive, though. Yeah, I want to take Ugin. I really like Ugin. Hmm. That goes pretty well with my little Ugin pick. No big deal. There is a Scalding Tarn and we don't have anything to fetch with it yet. But I think it's kind of hard to pass up on a Mana Vault. Also, getting out like a quick Scarab God can be pretty good as well. By Magic Fest Las Vegas. Oh my god. If I were to set a true line, it'll be somewhere on the end of January. That it maybe happens. I, I don't think we're putting the tree away like anytime soon. What? There's this is third pick. Why are just people why are people passing this? No entiendo. What are we passing here? Strip mine, eh? Ren and six two. Soul ring, another mox. Yeah. If it's another mox, it makes sense. If it's another piece of power, it makes sense. But that was two picks, it wasn't just one. Can I please explain to you why Mana Vault is so good? It just seems like a janky ritual to you. Uh, it's good because Vintage Cube more than almost any other cube. Uh, I think here I'm going to take Blood Chief first. Vintage Cube more so than the other cubes is all about cheating on mana. Like, in... <laughs> Do you all remember the... I forget what it was called, but it was like the cube that people were calling Chupacabras versus newer players. And it's like that cube was all about mid-range cards and getting two for ones on your stuff vintage cube more than those is all about cheating on mana and lands and mana vault is just very good at doing that so if you go turn one mana vault or like mox emerald mana vault into tap three mana even if you continue like you almost never end up untapping the mana vault you just usually play it and then just take damage from it forever it's still um you're still up by so much compared to the rest of the stuff that you could be doing in cube so, you like bobbers? I was looking at the Trinket Mage, too. I do like Dark Confident. We have this Ugin. You know how I feel about 
dark confident and really expensive cards in your deck. I love to do it. I love taking damage from it. All right, I've tapped into Bob. I'm going to take a dark confidant. Thoughtseize and a bunch of other Garbaggio. Hold on, let me move this balance. Yeah, it's also a 3 plus mana ritual, which is better than the other rituals. Yeah, so if you just treat Mana Vault as I pay it on one turn to get three on a future turn to play one big finish, like that's all you really need to get from my Mana Vault. Even if you never untap it again, it was worth it, you know? Yeah, I like Yorian. I've seen BK draft so many Yorian decks. Oh my god. BK's comboing off with the Yorian decks. So we have a couple options here. We can take Knight's Whisper, which I think is just good. Uh, we can take Walking Ballista, which would have been cool with a Trinket Mage, and it still could be if it comes back. Or the Brain Freeze to Juke some Storm deck if they try to kill us with Brain Freeze. You just respond with Brain Freeze and kill them. I think I like Knight's Whisper the best. Dismember, Foth, Inquisition, and that's it. Inquisition, Foth, and Dismember. That's true, Diane. That's also true. Basically, in the Vintage Cube, you're just looking to cheat on your mana always, and any card that lets you do that is good. And that's the reason that Mana Vault is good. Mm. Mm. Sage has a really good suggestion. That's part of it, too. Upheaval is like one of the stronger things you can do. It's just a really good archetype. Oh my god, Fof is dope with Mario Conjecture. Sold! Sign me up. We are going to Fofford's Town. We're not minds desiring in this deck. We're control magicking. Of course, Big. I am happy to hear you've been liking it. Uh, this is either Mesmeric Fiend or Disenchant. I kind of like Mesmeric Fiend in a deck with a Scarab God because it gets them early. And then you can just flash it back and it's a 4-4 that takes one of their cards. Super cool. The Dark Slick Shores. I kind of like Vampiric Tutor, but it's hard to pass on a duel that works in our deck. Yeah, that's part of the reason why Soul Ring might be better than even like Black Lotus sometimes. I, I know it sounds really stupid and a lot of people are like, oh, it's Black Lotus. Obviously, that's the best card in cube. But a lot of people will argue that that Soul Ring is, is better. Overgrown Tomb. The problem is we're not playing any green, right? It, it is a black source that's fetchable through Misty, which is meaningful. I don't think I want any of these. I'll get this for the sideboard, potentially. The Massacre. I like that. We're not Palancroning in this deck, and I don't think we're playing Anguish in the making. This is a good sideboard card. Blood Crypt is a red source that could potentially splash Kologon's Command. We're already. Yeah, Lotus is more explosive. Lotus lets you have, like, really degenerate starts. Soul Ring just gets you farther ahead into the game without actually necessarily winning you on turn one or something. Do we have a Liliana Planeswalker? We don't, so we can't take Lily's Triumph. <laughs> Treachery or Shell Duck Isle? I, I kind of have a ruling cube that is you can't pass this card. I don't really think this card is passable, especially if we're blue. Ishara, it's good to see you. Welcome back with the 27. Yes, Shinobi would be so good in this deck. Ooh, tough pick, yo. Ancient Tomb versus Creeping Tarpet. I like Treachery Red Aragon Knight, but I don't think it's as good as, as Shell Duck Isle. Uh, I think I want to take... That card is the Pits. I don't know what to do. I actually think they're both pretty good. Have I considered Yoggers? <laughs> Time Twister never change. I like that you're out here advocating for the, the Yogg Moss of the world when, when everyone's like creeping tar pit, oh my god. We took Ugin and might be Tomb. Oh, that's a really good point, Mole. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. Carners. Coalition Relic is a banger. So is Glenelendra, so is Metaform. This card is not really replaceable. You think Pit will wheel? I think that is one of the more highly drafted lands, but... It would be cool if it came back. I know, the Karn Father. I think Glennonold is better. Glenn is just really good in this kind of deck, especially when we're trying to do things like cast a Nugan, the Spirit Dragon, and we get Glenn down and then be able to play Ugin with still having like some activation from Blend. That's not too bad. We also have stuff like Force of Will, which lets us like more easily enable like play Glenn and have backup, you know? Ooh, woo. 
So we have the Mirari conjecture with a bunch of cool stuff already, but there's a time warp. Can I interest you in the time warp? It looks super cool in this deck. Then you just get to pop off. You go to the Mirai Conjecture turn. And then you just take all the turns and get the achievement, baby. I don't actually think this Dorati is looking good right now. I like Deluge a lot. I just think this is so much cooler. And there's an achievement attached to it, so might as well. I love Ponder and I also love Fire Eyes. We could play Fire. We would have access to Fire thanks to the Blood Crypt. Glenn is a friend of the stream. The Karn father has long been abandoned. Oh my god. <laughs> Went to the farm upstate. <laughs> the poor Karners. That's why I got kicked out of the Karn club. The Karn club with a K. I didn't pay my renewal fees. Feels bad, man. This uh, Ophia Mancer looks kind of garbageo too. Ponder's busted. Ponder, Ponder. Yeah, all right. Let's take Ponder. Golos. Except we can't actually do anything with it. I kind of like Thirst for Knowledge. Do you have any artifacts to bin with it? We have the Mana Vault and the Mox Emerald. Eh, I mean, it's a fine card even if you can't discard artifact. Looks much better than this Ophium answer. Okay, so Delta is a fetch in both of our colors. It also gets Blood Crypt, which at the moment doesn't matter. Our Misty currently only gets blue. That's embarrassing. All right, well, we'll figure it out. More like Ophisomancer got him! <laughs> Let's put him in the sideboard. <laughs> we really showed him what's what. With Delta, you probably want to play Doretti. Actually, Doretti might be back on the menu with Delta. I do agree with that. Uh, these all look awful. I don't know why there were so many fetches. They're all blue fetches, too. Uh, I think I'll take Show and Tell. Because if we ever show and tell and play against the red deck and we put Ugin, the spirit dragon, in play, like, that's pretty cool. I don't think, like, any of these other cards are playable or do anything in our decks. Okay. We are not set up to be an opposition deck, but we are set up to be a treachery deck. That seems fun. Oh, wait. Show and tell is just creatures? God, it's even worse than I thought. Each player must put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land. This was made before Planeswalkers. <laughs> Alright, alright. I want to chat trick me into putting that in play. Hold on, did I miss a resub? Taxi! Thank you for the 56 months. Taxi, I hope you had a new year. I can't believe Treachery came back. Is no one drafting blue? I think the next pack has... I'm going to take this Yogmoth. Ah, this was the pack with uh, Polluted Del or Creeping Tarpet, I think. Mm. That is sucky. Take tireless tracker for the sideboard. Godless shrine. Yeah, young wheel time twister. I think we're gonna try to play both. Yeah, nobody table star pit. Did you see all the cards that we're getting back though? I think Revoker might be a better sideboard card than the Godless Shrine because it currently. The only thing we could play off of the Godless Shrine is the balance, which this doesn't really seem like a good balance deck. I guess SFM. I don't. We're not playing either of these. I guess maybe we could bring in Athalia against the Storm deck or some garbage. Um. Yes. If we got Yogg, then the Fiomancer is back in the menu. It just didn't have a. It didn't have a purpose for being in this deck before. But with Yogg, I think we are gonna be playing it. So let's see how we're doing. I'm not entirely sure we're playing Yogg. Let's just see where we're at first. I took out all the lands. We've got Eugene. Mirari can... How'd the Eureka nonsense deck go? We don't talk about the Eureka nonsense deck, Dreamy. We just pretend that it uh, went to the farm upstate. Live comfortably the rest of its life. CMC is so high on Bob and Old. Uh, we could cut the Ugin. Make the Bob hits a little less. You cut Duretti. I like Duretti because if we play Yogg, I want to play the Duretti. It's Duretti and Yogg are a cool wombo combo. You can draw a bunch of cards. You can kill a bunch of their stuff too. Yeah, it went to no. <laughs> Ain't no thing. I think if this is the case, we could cut the Ugin. And we could also cut the Dark Confidant. 
because we're going to be losing a bunch of life to the Yawgmoth anyway. Though I will say, oh, the Registrar looks awful. You're right. This has no place in the deck. Ah, we can just run the Confidant then. It's greatness at any cost, not at CMC 5 or less cost. I think the prediction already happened, Walls. I believe the prediction is currently set to how many wins will this deck get? Prediction ended 21 minutes ago. Oh, you know what we should do? We should run the prediction after we are done with the draft. That would make sense. Because then people have... Uh... And then people have... Infer like I I'm fine with people having the information about what the deck looks like before we... <laughs> oh, BK, BK, BK. The Mana Vault looking a bit worse without the Ugin. I think it's still fine. We have a bunch of fours and fives. <laughs> I saw your messages on Facebook, BK. Oh, was that prediction last draft? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, it's been distributed. Okay. So if the mods... How about this? We have to finish building the deck, but I believe this is... Let me just double check. Yeah, prediction started. I was going to say, we can run it now. And I'm happy to let people take bets on what this deck looks like at the moment. Let me do some mana, and then I have to go to the restroom real quick. All right, so to the Gmail drafts folder. Blue, black, red. I like it, Wolf. You got to gamble for a reason. Misty is super pepega. Do we have any reasons to want to shuffle our deck? No. No, I've never taken a Misty Rainforest out of my deck. That's horrible. Technically, Shelly. Uh, ponder. Uh, I don't think it's worth it to run it. Maybe it's okay. Fader dropping 50Ks? You love it. Because, okay, fine, fine. We'll run the Misty. I don't I don't really want to start setting the president that I just take Misty's out of my deck. So for that reason alone, I like it. So for blue, we have Dark Slick Shores, Misty Reinforced, Polluted Delta, Shell Duck Isle. That's it for now. For black, we have Blood Crypt, Dark Slick, Not Misty, Polluted, and that's it. And so that's three. For red, we have Blood Crypt, Polluted, and that's it. So that's two for now. I like it, Fader. So if we add... So we're currently at four blue, three black, two red. If I add one more red, this suggests this, this many more blue. That would be five, nine blue, seven black, one... This deck is really good. The man is the only thing that's looking kind of sketchy. I like it, Wolf. <laughs> Beer Mystic's all in. Hold on, I want to see. I want to see. You know, it doesn't tell me. I can't see what people, how much people bet. I wish I could see that. I bet there's a way I can see it. Maybe I don't know how to see it yet. I'm not sure. Beer put 100k? Oh, baby. Feeling lucky. The bottom option shows the biggest sharks. I see. You can hover over the largest bet to see who did it. Let me see. Hold on. This is This is what I see. It's still waiting on results. Oh! Beater with... 50,000 rupees. Beer Mystic with 100,000 rupees. 36 voters on that side and 21 voters. Yes. I like the people who have faith. We love to see it. All right. Um, I think this looks good. This puts us at 973. I have to think about the Dreddy. That's the only one I, th I have to think about. Let me go use the restroom real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. Bob is definitely living dangerously. It's greatness at any cost, not at small CMC. Oh shit, I'm actually stoked to play with his deck. <gasps> no, Fader! <laughs> it's chair stream now. Chair has one. 
there was one time that the chair won a match. I forget how it happened. Like, I think my opponent just, I need to go to the restroom or something. And I queued into the game. And then when I came back, I just won the match. It's really good. Um, is cutting ancient tomb insane? So here's, here's where I'm, here's where I'm at. And I'm not sure. I think we could cut ancient tomb to add another black source. We could cut the ready to change the mountain into a black source. Yeah, BK, what would you do? I'm st I'm stuck here between wanting to cut ancient tomb to put another black source or cut the ready to cut the mountain to put another black source. I do still think that Yogg works with uh, a Pheomancer, which is nice. We cut tomb. I'm sad because we took it over something equally good in Tarpa. Yes, I remember that. We took it especially specifically for the Ugin and we're not even playing it. You think you'd cut the ready and Yogg for a Voker and land? Yeah, that might be right. But then the Ophiomancer is kind of garbaggio. Option three, greed, run it all. Molly, I love the way you're thinking. You know what? It's 2021 and it's a brand new year for big ambitions. I'm going to greed run it all. The deck looks so cool right now, and it's just a mana that's, like, a little sketchy. But I believe. What if we cut Bob and we don't die? Oh, you know what we could do? Hold on. Monty, I have, I have it. I have it. I have it. We cut the Dark Confidant, and we just play another land. That's it. We did it. There you go. Boom, baby. That's the combo. How is this cowardly? We're playing Yogmoth. You lose so much life drawing cards with that guy. How is this cowardly? No more greatness. Just like a moderate amount of greatness. BK, I'm not worried about hitting my fives with Bob. I more just want to like cut one spell to make room for one more land. And Bob was the card that I was kind of iffy on. That That's basically it. I could also see like cutting... I don't know. Gitaxian probe. I like a taxian probe with uh Force of Will though. I have an ancient tomb, I have Gitaxian probe, and I have a Yogmoth. We could cut control magic. Yeah, this is not the best tomb deck, BK. If we cut Ancient Tomb, we could add Bob back in, maybe. Because I do agree this is not the best. It's only good for us to get something out, like the Mirari Conjecture or whatever. I don't think I want the Ugin. But I can see cutting out this and then just adding this back. And now, we're back in, baby. Another 40. <laughs> All right. We figured out a way to play Greatness at any cost. Let's go. See, chat can't even make fun of me anymore. This ain't a coward stream. All I did was cut an ancient tomb that actually looked not great here. <laughs> That's true, Agara. It's not a challenge. I take it back. It's not a challenge. Hmm. I know the last deck was a... Um, it, it was our send-off deck for 2020. <laughs> we just want to send it off with one last one. For the memories. What am I drinking? It is a health aid kombucha. A bubbly probiotic drink. It's a, it's like a kombucha that has like cayenne in it, basically. That's pretty good. I like it a lot. Follow your gut. Our organic and raw cayenne cleanse kombucha. A mix of lime, ginger, and semi-spicy cayenne will make you tingle happy. Oh, hold on. You know what I actually want to do? Maybe we can get it after this match. We made these drinks yesterday. But then they were really strong, so we didn't finish them. <laughs> I'm actually just going to get it, and if I queue, I queue. No opponents? Yes, we only played two matches with that deck. <laughs> we, 
We actually got it to pop off one of those times, so. Your kombucha's culture died a few months back, Ogara. That's so sad. Yes, kombucha is just like fermented tea, basically. It's really tasty. It's, it's very strong, but if you like that sort of stuff, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, we can keep this. Yo, look at this. We made these mezcal margaritas. They're like really smoky and nice, but oh my god. Figure of destiny, we are dead. Mm. That was the worst card we could possibly see. I like how all the chat has the same reaction. Oh no, we're dead. We're and Dobbs. Turn one kill. Yeah, Blood Chief Surce would be amazing. Mm. Um. Yeah, I think Probe for Retail sounds good. I think I'm going to go... You want to pay life? Oh my god, Molly, get out. We're looking for Blood Chief's Thirst. That's basically the only thing where we can get. Doretti wouldn't be bad. Paying two means we can mana vault. Yeah, I guess this is a non-coward stream. So hold on. This is, take a look at your hand. And then play mana vault. Uh! Okay, they only have... The figure of destiny. So if we draw into Blood Chief's Thirst, okay, okay, okay. They also had it. Horrible. Look, we have outs. They don't have that much stuff. We, we really do have outs if we draw the, the, the Thirst. Or if we get like a Gaunty or something. Because this doesn't go Super Saiyan until way later, right? It needs six mana. Okay, so there's Mox Emerald. They're about to play another Planes. They're going to play a Student of Warfare, I'm sure. Sure. Now they have two planes in hand plus whatever they drew this turn. Okay, so now it's a 2-2. Two, two. Then next turn, they play a planes and level it up to four. Okay, come on, baby. I need something good. I need something good. Ah, please. We have a lot of good out. Oh, my God. I'm gonna Knight's Whisper for MSRP. Yeah, same. And I'm not even gonna tap the mana vault. I'm just gonna hope to draw something cool that I can play next turn with uh, with this. Uh, feels bad, man. That is a good draw. All right, so now we can force something if it's really a banger. Sure. Oh, Fio is kind of like the best thing we could have drawn, actually. Uh, did they play a planes? Yes. They didn't actually pump this to four, which is interesting. <laughs> okay, Louise. Let's calm down, shall we? No. Okay. Not bad, not bad. This buys us time. Almost 500 became the total pot. We'll see if our haters and doubters. Oh, no. Uh, do we care about a containment priest? I'm at nine. Ugh. I, I kind of want to force it. It's not great, but... We have the tokens to trade against some of the stuff. I think I'm just going to let it through. I think they can do much worse than that. Or like much better than that for us. I don't know. All right. There's the last card. So now we don't know what they have in hand. Our stuff ignores containment priest pretty well. I only considered forcing it to like not have them have a containment priest in play basically. Really. Why did they attack like this? This can't pump, 
right now I can just eat the figure of destiny. If their plan is they are attacking with us because they have a thing that they drew, we can just force a will counter. And then next turn I can just make things to block here. Abyssin? All right, well, that would make sense, but I have the force of will. Or they just, like, wanted to go pedal to the metal, maybe. Sure. Okay. Oh, Humancer doesn't actually care about this thing double striking me. Okay, I need a banger. Oh! Thank you very much. I would like that very much. Ship it. And then I still have the Force of Will. I don't really want to tap my Mana Vault. Nice. I guess... No, I don't want to wait. I just want to take it. Let them level. I don't know. I think having this is fine. Wanting to force a little priest. <laughs> I am going to chill here on the Ophiomancer because even though we have the snake, if they have a way to kill it, I don't want to be forced to use my force of will. Yeah, it also forces me into taking two more, which I really don't like. Yeah, that one is not, I'm not cool with. <laughs> yeah, Luis, your play was much better. You Sometimes you gotta hand it to him, even when you don't want to. Oh, Glennonald? I do like that. I don't want to tap my mana vault still, so let me just play Glenn with... Actually... That's technically safer against Wasteland. Hey, unknown. Which is larger? I don't think Glenn would come back. Number of corn dogs that oh, against uh, containment priest. True, that would be some kind of debate. Thank you so much, unknown. How are you? My months are the number of corn dogs else we can eat. Uh, probably the number of corn dogs you can eat. Brimaz, the king of Oreos. All right, can't stop that. I can't snake it though. It does mean I don't have attacks with my student. Uh, nope. I would like to draw something. It's a white source to pump it up. Um, yeah, I guess I'm hitting with Glenn. If they attack, I can put the snake on this. The Yeah, we have a Scarab God. Hold on. Does this attack with it? It's a 1-1. One, one. So yeah, we can put that on the 1-1 one, one, and then this on that. So... I guess it's bad if they draw removal spell. Okay, calm down, BK. Hey, Genesis, welcome. Happy New Year. How does it feel to have my mortal enemy on the side of the battlefield? Feels good, man. NGL. Yeah, I think if they have removal, I'll just sack the Glen knowing that it won't come back. Like, I think that's fine. We just can't really lose the Ophiomancer. Can't really lose the Student of Warfare. We can proliferate onto the student. Oh my god, you're right. Gabby love. <laughs> We're so close. Then we'll just have a 7-7 seven, seven double strike. How can they ever beat that? Thank you, Pichu. Welcome back with the 39 months. Flicker Wisp would own me. Yep. Just pretend they don't have Flicker Wisp. I would like to draw... Treachery would be cool. Gaunty would be cool. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Alright, I can't really stop that. What are they going to copy? A Pheomancer? Glenn? Student of Warfare! <laughs> Alright. Alright, Student of Warfare the Redux. It still doesn't do anything against my uh, Pheomancer. Like, what do they do still? Can I draw some action? Treachery, Foff, or Gaunty? Have I ever been two students before? Definitely not, dude. This is not this kind of stream. 
I kind of like the treachery so that we can steal their second student of warfare. It just sounds so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not going to attack. Uh, do we actually want to hit with Glenn? No, I can't attack anymore. Not against the student. We may want to fetch now to speed up the clock. Yeah, I could see that. All right, there are five, six, seven. They need to attack with more stuff. All right, I am, it's a 7-7 seven, seven now, right? So I'm going to fetch off of this polluted delta. I guess I want to get this. Yeah, I'm going to pass before attacks. I'm going to steal it. I'm just going to do it at the beginning of combat, I think. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to have two student of warfares. One of which is super saiyan. I know this isn't an achievement on the achievements board, but it feels like a personal achievement. <laughs> um, the the Shadok is going to be online after I fetch with this polluted delta. I'm going to go to two, but then I get to take the student of warfare. So we Gucci. Here we go. Yeah, I might as well get the Blood Crypt, but not pay. I would love to cast it, targeting you. Look at that technology. Amazing. <laughs> hey, lady, it's so good to see you. Welcome back. How was your new year? All right, now he's get to start jamming with this guy. Look at this, lady. I have conquered my greatest fear. We got there, baby. As long as they don't deal me two damage out of nowhere, we're gonna be Gucci. I would not want to pay mana for this. This thing has milled so much clock time. Um. So this is a four four double strikes. So it's gonna deal them eight and nine ten. I think we just hit with the student then. We have come a long way, Mad Mage. Look at us. Look, man, no hands. Yeah, you like my fancy drink? Luis! I got the fancy drink from the fridge and now I'm consuming it again. We just made drinks yesterday, but we made too many. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> They're just sending a message. All right, against them, the massacre looks good. Uh, I mean, Reginald looks okay. Revoker's kind of nice against some of their stuff. It also, you know, trades with their business. This drink is good, Aholipa. This is this kind of like Quantro mix that we got at a, a liquor store we like. It's got like Vida Maguey, I think is what it's called. It's a kind of mezcal. And it's got tahine on the rims. And it also has some bitters and simple syrup. <gasps> Criticals! I could play show until I actually, you know, BK, you laugh, but I actually think that's right. <laughs> Criticals! Thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate that. How are you, Alex? I hope you had a really good stream. What you playing? Yes, I'm bringing in the show until I actually think it's right. Let me take out the stuff that looks really slow against them. Um. Oh, they did have Sun Titan. Whatever, BK. 
Oh, they also had Containment Priest. All right, I'm on. I'm on board with Time Twister. I actually don't want it anymore. Though I think the Regisaur could be pretty good. I just it makes me discard though. I like the Revoker. I think the Revoker looks great. Um, I don't like the Probe. This drink is really good, lady. We've been getting into mixed drinks a little bit more lately. We bought a little drink cart. That is showing up on Friday. We're going to send up. Isn't that the most adult thing you've ever heard? A little like drink cart station. <laughs> Conjecture, Bob, and Whisper, I think, are your worst. I agree with Bob. Conjecture is slow. I, thank you, Time Twister. Your, 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 your service is appreciated. Hmm. I think Probe is better than Whisper. Really, I like Night's Whisper better. Time Warp is, isn't great. Also in this matchup, maybe. Maybe I actually take out the Time Warp since we took out the Mariah Conjecture and bring in the Probe. That that sounds a little bit better to me. That's also a blue card for um, Force Will. Oh, yeah. No, it's Bri it's Andrew Beckstrom. Yes, we treasured uh, a Super Saiyan Student of Warfare Rage. It is really cool. Hand is slow against this kind of deck. We also don't have blue. Kind of want to mulligan this hand. This hand looks great. We can keep this one. Send back the mountain. We can kick it off by going Shelly, turn to Dark Slick Shores, kill their thing. BK, no, get out. Stop. <laughs> You're out of control, dude. Yes, I'm sending the mountain back. We're never going to cast Dreddy when it shows up. Ugin wins if we get to 8, but it's so hard to get to that. Mm. I might just have to kill that now. It, it is another, but it's really annoying to just have that in play. Mm. This is fine. I can go Dark Slick Shores, Blood Chief's Thirst, The Giver of Runes. Turn 2... Cast the Mana Vault off of Dark Slick Shores, play Sheldock Isle to prepare for the Scarab God. The alternative is we just go Sheldock Isle right now, or we go Dark Slick Shores, play Mana Vault, uh, untap Swamp, tap Mana Vault for the Scarab God. Yeah, maybe that's just better. I can ignore this for now. I think I want to try to play Turn to Scarab God and, and untap. Yeah, if it were a mom, I'd have to blood chief search now. But give her we give her we can we have windows of opportunity against Giver. <laughs> Big is gonna be like, wouldn't this have been a much better XYZ? I don't know, I'm just saying things. <laughs> It's true, Lowind. Windows of opportunity. Oh, snap. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and plus protection from black and from green. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to player, the player discards a card and you untap all lands you control equipped too. BK was on the call. He was a guest. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna... Not TSG. I'm not untapping this. Oh, kind of like that. That's going to be good. All right. So I have to nug the giver. I could greet it and go Knight's Whisper, but if I break it so bad, it's not worth it. I'm just going to cast this on giver and then play Sheldock Isle. It's just so bad if we brick. Spell Pierce, Yogg, or Ponder. Well, this seems like a pretty good Yogg. Any order... And then let's hit. Yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna steal stuff, mom. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. That's really awkward. If we get a land. 
we can just mind control this and hit Elspeth and then we're in great shape. But we need a land right now. Come on, land, please. Oh, thank God. Okay. No, I, I can't set mom and upkeepers because this is four mana, so I didn't even have enough. But we're totally good. Because now what we can do is we just control magic the token, which is not the best control magic you've ever seen, but killing Elspeth is really important. And that way we don't have to deal with Elspeth. So we yoink. Go to combat. Because Elspeth's going to beat the shit out of us if we don't kill her. That's funny. When we get this back, there's sort of Feast and Famine. Like, we can just block whatever. Crucible of Worlds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. I wonder if this is a get on deck and that's why they're doing this. Um, I could follow the Thran. No, that's not in cube. I, they must be a get in deck, though. That's the only reason they would have a Crucible, I think. They might have, like, Strip Mine and, like, Wasteland or something. Hmm. I'm ignoring Vault. I think I actually want to reanimate the... Hold on, let me put this on the stack. I think I want to reanimate this. Because that lets us scry into put a land on top so we can treachery their next play. Yep. On top. Not pay. I don't know if the person who asked us about Mana Vault is still in chat, but this is a clinic as to why Mana Vault is good. <laughs> Get the body bag. <laughs> like, we just got a Scarab God, Scarab God out on turn two, and my opponent just has not come close to recovering from that. Yeah, so now with land on top, even if they play creature and equip, we can still steal it and then just kill them. Love it. Yeah, the Elspeth, if we didn't draw a land there for control magic, the soldier to kill Elspeth, I think we would have just lost on the spot. Scarab God done, go and give it to you. Hi, Jules. Jules, we did it. Can you I see her? Oh my God, hold on, let me... Let me move my webcam so you can see her. She looks so cute right now. One sec. Look at her. Ah, she looks so cute while sleeping there. Oh my god, hold on. Scoot it over. Julie. Oh, Julie. What a cutie pie. What a good dog sometimes is, is the accurate description of this dog. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Turn to a few is not too shabby. We can keep this and then play just spell pierce on one. Yeah, Fader, this dog has a really big oh my god, why did I have to be on the draw? Oh. All right, we have an option. Hey, suspect agent. Thank you so much. Turn one, Bob. Let's fucking go. Okay, we're on the same page. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was just like, maybe we want to hold up spell pierce. My opponent played Sol Ring on turn one. But. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like it's time for the Bob beatdown plan, baby. I might actually pass with uh, spell pierce here. I think I want to play my... I want to play my Isla. Oh, that's weird, Fader. Alright, I'm gonna just chill here. I can cast Thirst for Knowledge at the end of their turn. If I'm feeling frisky. The next turn I can go Fiamancer, hold up Spell Pierce. I just don't really want to tap out when they have 5 mana. This is where they play Teferi and I lose. 
Okay. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> TRGR, Ryan. Oh my god, they actually had to do mana for it too. Uh, I can thirst for force of will. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> No, don't counter me. Oh, you hate to see it. Delta can go. Island can go. Oh, probably Mountain can go. Yeah, because this is a black source too. All right, I guess there's like a lot of stuff that we could potentially beat here and some stuff that we can definitely never beat. Uh, so a Feomancer blocks the battle ball. Oh! Alright, so, also the Force of Will, really? That was the next card? <laughs> cool. They did encounter my Thirst for Knowledge, but they didn't have to. So, I kind of like going for, yeah, Tilt City Diaries. They knew. They just knew. I kind of like going a few minutes or hold up spell peers. You think we should just go for it? I kind of want to go for it. You control magic at IDK. All right, whatever. Let's do it. That's true. We do have the fours. Yeah, whatever. Ship it, ship it. I oh, love it. Amazing. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I don't want to talk with bobbers. Yeah, if we didn't hit force, I don't think I would have gone for it. I think if we didn't hit force, we go a few or hold up spell pierce next turn. Um, or maybe like try to get Glenda Lender down, take a hit from the thing in the next turn, try to go for it. Maybe. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, we only took it off of this. Okay. So we do kind of want to take, get a uh, sorcery down. This is instant, but we'd have to play this here this turn if we want to get it back. So maybe I think the best thing we can do is just Glenelendra down and then start setting up for future turns. Kind of like that. Let's go one, two, three, four. Okay. Sure. Yes, I mean, control magic is quite good. What is this? Is this control magic again? It, they can't do it, though. I have Glenn. Gaunty Lord of Luxury. Okay, that's pretty good. We are going to have to Blood Chief Thirst that thing because it can currently debate us pretty well. Okay. <laughs> Scarab God. Oh, we're going to get to reanimate the Gaunty. We might want to have this Bob die at some point. Like, we might want to start attacking with a Bob. Because if we go... Yeah, exactly, Chaos. We can definitely send with it now. So to kick this, I do need Dubs Black, right? So we go four minutes. Yeah, we do have to. Cast with Kicker and reverse it. One, two, three, four... We could actually die to the Bob. But I think it's time to start sending. Don't really want to send with Glenn to stop the mirrors from attacking. I mean, they might send them all, but... When does Vintage Cube end? I think it's not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, but I'm not 100% sure. I tried to look for the Magic Online schedule and I couldn't find it. Okay. Cool. I don't think so, Lunch Supper. I kind of like trying to kill them with a Battle Sphere. Hmm. All right. Can't stop that. Oh, that's so awkward against Glenn. Shoot. Okay. 
Okay. Well, the conjecture is going to get back um, the Blood Chief's Thirst at some point here. Yeah, Maximals, it's loose, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Ooh! Ding, ding, ding! So I can sack my Emerald to destroy the Yawgmoth. Yeah, that looks super good. Oh, hold on. I want the last one to be that. I mean, I don't have... I, I don't... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci, BK. I'm Gucci. Though I can't really use the mana for, like, anything else. Not really. Oh! They have the Force of Will now. Oh, no. They're just doing business. Oh, they're killing my Bob? Thank you. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Next Tuesday? Okay, so next Tuesday the last day. Okay. Sure, I can't stop that. I think they kind of needed to play to that. My Glenn dies here, then my Glenn dies here. I can't do much about that. Yeah, I mean, Yogg was really good. For them. Yeah, they killed my Glenn, sadly. Sack this. Play that. Hit with Battle Ball. All right, they have a window here to cast something cool, but at least we're not dying to Bob. Yog is good, Tilt City. I like it. I want to get the Force of Will back. Nope. We don't need it. Okay. They already sacked Ball, Zombie Ball. I like the way you're thinking, Sledrix. Or is that... Hold on. That's Cedrix, not Sledrix. Your name is, like, dark blue against my black background. And it's, like, impossible to see. May have TSG to battle ball at one point. Yeah, it sounds it's a good combo time twister. Our opponent drew a million cards off of it. Regisaur is Ooh, thank you, Lunch Supper. <laughs> Wait, have you been speedrunning Stardew Valley slow? I started a new farm, but I'm in like day six or something. I'm not very far in. You're learning it. Oh my god, you hadn't played it originally? I'm so jealous. I would I would pay a lot of money to play Stardew Valley again. I don't know. I my second playthrough is just I don't know. It's like reading a good book for the first time. Like you can read it again, but just experiencing it for the first time is just you can't really replace that. I don't like boarding anything here. Oh, that's interesting, Slew. Um, the polluted delta gets the land for Doretti, so this looks pretty good. BK. <laughs> it was like a dual, dual, dual thank you, lunch supper. Good night from Vienna. Good night, Raymer. Have a good one. Ew, woo. So if I go this, this, I go down one, two, three, four, five, six, down to five, draw another one. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I was just going to try to get overgrown crypt or overgrown blood crypt. I'm losing it. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the Gataxian probe because nothing I do changes anything right now. Overgrown Crypt would be a good try line. Everybody would even know what it means. Yes, I'm going to probe them next turn to see if we can go for it. All right, I don't really care about Bitter Blossom too much. Ooh, woo. Little Thran action. 
Tinker Coalition Relic. Okay. Um. So, we can do something kind of weird here. Is we can play the Dreddy, and then if they play the Coalition Relic, we can just use the Dreddy and sack our Mox Emerald to kill it. And then they can't even tinker with it. Like, I don't know if that's better than just passing passing with spell pierce. It gets a it gets a Dreddy down, which I think has some value, right? Yeah, then we Glen next turn. I don't know, this like this is really threatening. It's really hard to play a cool relation rolling into this. Oh, we can even sack the construct. Never mind. I forgot we tick up this turn too. Oh my god, Beaky, calm down. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> oh snap. They had the technology. Holy shit. Wow, that was really annoying. Yeah, they didn't have that last turn, so they just drew that this turn. Well, time to get Archmage down. Oh, Ophia Hold Pierce is better. I like that, Molly. That's even better. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it, Molly. They played Island just now. They're about to play Coalition Relic, almost certainly. Oh. Sure. I don't care if they play a murderous writer, that's whatever. I'm surprised they did that. Why wouldn't they run out the coalition relic? Isn't that way better? Hey, I like that. So I can just now play Misty Rainforest and hold up Glenelindra Archmage or Archmage. Ba -ba 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 it's very good against adventures if you catch the spell side, but we didn't catch the spell side, unfortunately. Can't really attack here. It's true, Mani. I I don't know. That was a weird choosing to cast that. Yes, yeah, so I might end up piercing over Archmage, but it depends because now they have three mana. I don't really care about giving them soul ring. Care about them tinkering. They're firing up the tar pit. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a cute doggo in the background. She is the sweetest. Okay. Uh Yog is gonna have to take care of that creeping tar pit. Let's get a blue source. Fact or fiction? So this is pay one life, sack a creature, put a minus one, and then discard a card and pro proliferate. So we need to leave up two blue, but we can't proliferate yet. This has pro humans, right? And this is a, oh, this is a zombie knight. It's not human. Well, I kind of wanted to proliferate the counter off the tar pit, Molly, but realistically what's going to happen is I'm just going to like sack the snake and the construct to the creeping tar pit and just kill it. And then I have the mana for the other stuff. I can't attack with much though, unfortunately. Sure. <laughs> the other mode never happens because the first mode is busted. True. All right, so they know they still have a coalition relic. There's the tinker, so let's suck Glenn to this. Okay. 
Got him. That worked out really nicely. Sure did. I don't like these uh, fairy rogues, though. This is pay one life. So we can sack snake, kill fairy rogue. Sack construct, kill fairy rogue, and then we get the snake back for the tar pit. We definitely want to throw at least one away. All right, so this one here. Sack snake. Force a will. Okay, they have one card left and it's the coalition relic. Do we sack the construct? I, I am kind of tempted to steal the murderous rider so we can... Oh, that's right. We can block sack. That sounds pretty good. All right. Let me go block and then I'm gonna sack target you sack the glen we have the force of will so we're gucci and then that doesn't deal us any damage we get the snake back and then we also have the tarpid covered pretty well let's play isla and control magic this fool okay what can we send with the Pheomancer, the Yogmoth. Uh, if they fire up the Tarpit, yeah, I think it's everything. If they fire up the Tarpit, we just do some blocks and sacks. Well, it can't even really block and sack. We need this murderous writer to deliver to us. Yeah, I successfully answered the question. They're at 10, 9. This has to be the tar bit. Oh. Yeah, I don't really care about that, I don't think. That I care about, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna take two of my cards, unfortunately. So if I force binning thirst, I get to keep the factor fiction, which I guess is something. The problem with that, it's just minus one life, right? Sack duders don't force. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so let's go pay one, target fairy rogues, sack snake, bin the dark slick shores. That sounds good. And then kill fairy rogue, sack defender. Got a dark confident. All right, let's just see what happens, baby. All right. Would you cast Thirst there? I didn't want to. I guess it gives me more options and draws me one more card for the business. Ooh, woo. I like that. That's true, BK. I like this deck a lot, Louise. It's pretty sweet. I want to cast my Gaunty. And then have Force of Will back up just for any random bullshit. I won't be able to proliferate onto the Gaunty, but I can just hack Snake and maybe, like... In fact, I might want to just kill the Fairy Rogue. Yeah, let me do that real quick just to see what my options are. Kill that. Oh! Yeah, that way the murder is right. Oh, hello! That's better, isn't it? What can we reanimate? Bob, which we're not doing. Glenelendra Archmage? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I have to tap like this. Oh, I could have left a black black too. I kind of beefed that. So that I could sack the tarpid and proliferate, but I'm not really worried. Like at this point, I can just sack the Ophiomancer. It doesn't even matter. Look at that, baby. 2040. Hold on. What was the bet? What was the bet? Is will it will a trophy? Was that the bet? <gasps> the 
people and I have faith might get paid off. Look at the believers. Fader with $50,000 bet or 50,000 rupees bet. <laughs> oh my God. Deep scaling periodontal today. Spooky, spooky. I need to make my dentist appointment. I've been slow rolling it because I didn't want to go. Just like, I don't mind going to the dentist. I just, COVID reasons kind of freaks me out, but I, I just need to do it. <laughs> Can you imagine, Fader? Dude, Fader, when, when I go to Vegas, one of the things that blows my mind is when I just see people actually like making like $50,000 bets. Because sometimes you see people doing that and I'm like, what is, what is this Monopoly money? Yeah, not the wallet inspector. I really love my dentist. It's this try-hard dentist that has, um, that is like, um, how do you even explain it? Misty gets blood crypt, so it gets us black and red. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a, it's a, like, dental spa, which totally works out for me because my insurance covers it just the same that they would any other dentist, but they, like, you can get, like, a paraffin wax on your hands when you go and they can give you like a massage chair and you can watch Netflix while they do dental work on you. It's so cool. Oh wait. Oh shoot. It's, I was confused. This doesn't get what I want. It's the Misty that's Pepega. <gasps> oh snap. I forgot that this Misty was Pepega. I totally forgot about it. All right, what's our plan? Our plan is to fetch off a Misty. To tr that, does, that doesn't that does really increase our chances of drawing a Black Source. I forgot that this, I forgot that this Misty was Pepega. We can just keep it in play, it doesn't matter. Okay, 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 okay. I need an overgrown Crip Molly. <laughs> <laughs> all right they're not doing anything so shadow is in the deck that's the reason that the, the misty is in there <laughs> they're gonna look at my hand i've been exposed papega is a twitch emote that just is like means stupid basically oh my god I am gonna bin Mesmeric Fiend. Cause I wanna play with Fio Man so we draw Black Source. And Dark Confidence seems okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bin the Mesmeric Fiend. Maybe it should have been the Gaunty. I don't know. I just have ambitions. Come on, Black Source, Black Source, Black Source. All right, next up is Gonti. Yep, yep, Gonti is the next on the chopping board. I'm sorry. Sorry, my boy. Bye, Gonti. <laughs> my God, Vader. <laughs> Are they firing up the tar pit? I love it. All right, I'm probably gonna crack the Misty Rainforest because I don't really want to draw more islands. Try to increase my chance to draw something, literally anything else. Awkward. Thank you. BK, what is wrong with you? How dare you? Sounds good, Tamarachi. Thank you. See you later. I feel amazing here. I'm going to give it to Lily. A few mans are delivered. Oh, they're a white deck too with a mana vault. Ooh, they're out of cards actually. So what's their plan? Are they going to fire up the creeping tar pit? That's great for me. 
they're on zero too, which is which is good. Now we get to time warp and just dubs dubs kill the lily. Ooh, Shelly, we get to play that next turn. All right, you know everything's coming up, Gooby. Time warp me. Combat Lily. Another turn. All right, all right. Shell Duck Isle. <laughs> Won't you take me to Gooby Town? We're at 22 cards. Oh, but we're about to go up higher because we have all these cards in temporary zone. I like the TSG. Hey, Stanlock, how are you? It is good to see you. Do we have even anything to get back? Mesmeric Fiend Gaunti. Oh yeah, that's that stuff is good. TSG looks better than Glenn, I think. Um, attack with you and you. All right, so here's the deal. We're at 25 cards. The Bob, yes, the Bob is a little scary because they have this creeping tarpet. So we can either keep up Force of Will to counter the next thing they draw, or we're just going to be cowards holding up Force of Will while they beat us down with a creeping tarpet. That's true, lunch supper. Uh, chat is divided. I don't know. I actually don't know what's right. Like, passing with force is just kind of chicken shit. Manny's confirmed a coward. We know this now. It's true. God. This is not a coward stream. Let's fucking go. All right. I'm going to please don't roll a five to this. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Dealer one time. Oh, this is just a tarpet. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. Yes, Sheldock also gets activated by Bob Louise. So I'm not I'm not just like saying stuff. I know I often just say things, but I'm not just saying things right now. Oh my god, the night's whisper. Oh, <laughs> all right. We can't cast the Night's Whisper. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I could cast the Night's Whisper. I just don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think we should. I think we should just pass with Force of Will. And if they play a creature, we treachery it. And if we don't. We just force a will something. Going to six is really bad. We're just dead in two hits to, to Creeping Tarpet. Oh my god. Here we go. I'm countering whatever this is. Oh. No, I should still not let this resolve. Because then they're just going to draw nonsense. I can't believe they could hard cast that. My god. That's the first time I've seen that. This... This cube time. I've, I've seen that before. All right, come on. Don't flip a five. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. We can thirst the bob. I think we have to kill it. I have to do it now. So let me, look, let me go attack. Does it even matter? Like, I'm just gonna die to the Grieving Tarpet no matter what, right? We could tap all of our mana, mind control the Ophiomancer, uh, to have double black, to then have Bob. And then when Creeping Tarpet attacks, we sack the snake, plus the Bob, kill the Tarpet. Yes, all right, BK. We were on the same wavelength. You love to see it. Okay. So it's five. Yeah, we have to be very careful about how we do this. We want to tap everything, right? And then go... Because we want to play Treachery, the Ophia... Or actually, hold on. Just the... Yeah, the Ophia is fine. Treachery, the Ophia but use all the blue mana. 
Right. And then on top, and that includes the swamp, the Shelly, just in case. One more, one more, one more. All right, perfect. So now we go yog off of that, 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 and that. And if we draw a card off of killing that tarpet, the shell duck owl is also alive. Baby, let's fucking go. All right, we can do the thing. Yeah, 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 this puts me at 20. Okay, this is a tar pit. Guaranteed. Sure. I'm going to let them attack just because I don't want them to have a mana off the tar pit, depending on what they drew. All right, <laughs> treachery is mana fixing. <laughs> Pay one life second of the creature, target you. Um, sack the bob. Mirari conjecture, cool. And then pay one life, sack another creature, counter on you, buy snake. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now let's see if they have a play. I have the counter spell. That's really good, too, because now we're just going to have the TSG. And we don't have the Bob, so it's not even going to kill us. I faded like three five drops off the Bob. Yeah, I mean, we did hit a four drop and a two drop. Oh, hello. Excuse me, what is this? Reanimate Grizzlebrand? No, I don't think so. Oh, they were dead. That actually did kill them. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. That was just a value play. You're right. I totally... Look, it's fine. I can just Mirari Conjecture back the... <laughs> Wait, was it Gaunty? Oh, it was Gaunty. Hold on. Let me see. Show game log. It was Gaunty. No. I mean, we would have won if they did that anyway, I think. Because we just then kill it off of Blood Chief Surst and then they lose. But now we can just hold up Counterspell and then they just can't beat us through Counterspell. Go Swamp, Mirari Conjecture. One, two, three, four, five... We have both Shell Dock Guile slash Counter Spell. They can't win through this. Yeah, Ogara, I kind of liked it better. I thought. I didn't think. I thought they were trying to reanimate Grizzlebrand, but I, I really didn't see their life total. Wow, it looks like that loose keep worked out. Amazing. All right, what do we want against blue black reanimator with Grizzlebrand in it? Revoker blind naming Grizzlebrand is not the worst. Yeah, ooh, no, mess. Ooh, no, mess. Show and tell seems awful against them. Reginald, nah. Massacre Worm, nah. Ancient Tomb, nah. I actually don't mind the Revoker, just like a little beatdown plan. What looks bad against them? Oh, Revoker naming Lily of the Veil is also great. We need to take out one thing. Maybe the probe is just kind of whatever. I like Mesmeric Fiend. It's really awkward against Lily, I guess, but it's pretty good with uh, Scarab God. Because you can just reanimate it back after it's died. And You think it's Yogg? Yogg's been so good, though. Is blood cheat on Sturzka? <laughs> Luis, what the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Blood Cheons? Change Misty for Swamp, just to be sure. God, I, I just need to remember that the Misty's Pepega. I'm sorry, I don't usually play decks where Misty doesn't get you both colors. 41 ship. I'm just going to take the probe out. It's a blue, it's a blue source for First of All, but whatever. All right. 
I like it. Keep. Against their deck, I probably do want to run my Mox Emerald out. So let me go. Isla Ponder. Spell Pierce, Dark Confident, Doretti. Oh, these are all great. So what's our play next turn? We have. We could hold up Spell Pierce, which is not bad. Dark Confident is just a fine card to play. And then Doretti, if they end up. Like, if we end up just going Doretti on turn three, it beats the shit out of Liliana. They can't really do much about that. Oh, you're right. We can't dread it yet. So that should be the last thing we draw. Wait, you think you'd shuffle? I like these cards, BK. How do you not like these cards? I don't know, BK. I like these cards. Top. Top. I know I don't have the mana for Doretti, but that's the only thing. You really want to shuffle two? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Should I really shuffle? I know we don't have the mana for Doretti, but that's the only thing. And we have a thirst for knowledge and a Pheomancer. Okay, all right. I'm going to trust BK. I'm going to shuffle. Drill Blood Chief Thirst anyway. I do want to play the Mox Emerald. They could have discard. I don't really want them discarding my, my mana source. Don't trust BK. Trust me. Well, you told me to shuffle too, so. Luis, do we have quorum for D&Ds tomorrow? Future then, oh shit. So... Mesmeric Fiend is a very good draw because we can just take the reanimation spell. So even if they bend something to the Putrid Imp, we can still snipe it. Um, name reanimate. No, this doesn't stop it. Spell Pierce would be really good right now. I think I'm going to shock here. And I'm just going to Mesmeric Fiend and hope that they only have like one reanimation source. We are, yeah, we got Quorum. Love it. All right, well, there's Elish Norn. The fact that they binned Elish Norn probably means that they have two ways to reanimate her. Oh, shit. They have Lily of the Veil. Vale. Happy Monday. All right. Have to take Lily and then Blood Chief's Thirsty Elish Norn. Yeah, we have to take Lily. This sucks. We'll we'll figure something out. But we can't let them we can't let them have Lily because they're gonna clown us if we do. <laughs> Fatal push would have been so much better, sadly. So they played a swamp. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, spell pierce would be so sick. What if we just draw it next turn? We could thirst for knowledge and see if we hit it. Mm. I think the best thing we can do is thirst right now and then just hope to hit Spears or Force a Will so that we can Force a Will next turn. I don't even think it's hold up. Oh, it's control magic. Interesting. Oh, Thirsting, thirsting for Thoughtseize would have worked too. Um, Inquisition wouldn't have worked. So now I guess I just... Yep, I think that's the play. So let's discard just something whatever. Uh, probably the mountain and maybe the Ophiomancer or something. Yeah, I like the Ophiomancer. I like the Gaunty better than the Ophiomancer. I'm going to bin these two. Hold on, I need to play a land still. 
they can't attack, so might as well hit for one. Play my land. Okay, so now they're going to reanimate Elishnorn, kill my Mesmeric Fiend. I get to control magic the Elishnorn. Then I can Blood Chief Thirst the Lily that they're going to get back. There's the planes, and now they have the makeshift mannequin. This does happen at instant speed. Yeah, that's fine, Wolf. Like, I just need a way to kill Elish Norn, basically. Whoa, they fired up the vent? Wait, what? But why, though? That was bizarre. They have ponder. We have ponder and thirst for knowledge in the yard. They're worried about Pierce? Maybe. I guess I can play. Or Swoopy Ghost. I mean, whatever. I'm going to just play Swamp Gaunty and go one, two, three, four. Maybe they bet on the trophy. <laughs> Grave Titan, Heartless Act. Heartless Act, what is that stack? It's just... Destroy target creature with no counters on it. Grave Titan. It's probably Grave Titan. Creeping Tarpet and him to Torak. Yeah, I think I'll take the Grave Titan. Him also looks pretty good, actually. Maybe I should have considered that. Let me hit with a Mesmeric Fiend. Oh, that's true, BK. Maybe I should have gone for a Heartless Act. Alright, they just went for it. Yeah, remove remove the mannequin act. <laughs> BK, he's just he's just being bad, dude. So they do have the the um, they don't have this anymore, but they do have the Lily of the Veil in hand now, plus two unknowns. I get to go control magic, the Elish Norn it dies. I can bend the island to the thing. One, two. Do we just Grave Titan? I think we have to kill the Elish Norn, right? We could... We could just... Nah, 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 nah. Let's just control magic it. Booper. And then... I mean, whatever. My Gaunty's about to die, right? I can hit... But the next turn, I can just play a Grave Titan. I don't really see how they come back. I mean, they would have needed to get another reanimation spell. Sure. Yeah, the problem, the awkward thing about Grave Titan into Elish Norn is they, we just lose all the stuff to it. I, I, plus, I can just Blood Chief Thirst the Lily. It's not really that big a deal. Oh, hello. Mm. Well, so this is a little awkward, but this is what we can do. We can go Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, I can't just kick. I have to kick Blood Chief's Thirst. That's unfortunate. Which leaves them with Lily for another turn. Then I can go Grave Titan. Then I can go Time Warp. Yeah, Chaos, I kind of like that too. 
I just, I think it's really bad to let, um, yeah, and I won't play my island this time because I want to discard that to Lily since we're discarding something here for sure. All right, so I'm going to kick this. I just think it's too dangerous to leave this around. That feels like that's how we lose. <laughs> oh my god, Helso, I kind of love that. That's full on greed. Yeah, so now we're going to take a little bit of damage. Discard an island, which ain't no thing. And then we can play the Grave Titan, and that really threatens the Lily. Yeah, this is them firing up the vent. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Thief of Sanity feels like the like just like a actual bullshit way we lose here. Like they they just get something really good from our deck or Imperial Seal. They are probably looking for some way to reanimate. the Elish Norn. They're just gonna find... Re they have literally reanimated in their deck so they can just get Elish Norn back. They probably got reanimate. This is really awkward because we can't. Yeah, exactly. If we if we tighten now, they go reanimate Elish Norn, kill the two tokens. Lily took down your Titan dies, which doesn't really help us. I guess in that case, maybe we could go Marari Conjecture, get back Blood Chief's thirst. No, that doesn't work, Darius, because this procs main phase. So if we get if we play conjecture now, we can't cast the time warp in time. Yes, I have to time warp now. Yeah. I wonder if one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough to play this. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to play the Dark Slick Shores because if I have something good, I don't want to have to discard it to Lily on their f on the following turn. What a place of Shores gets us. It doesn't anything right now, BK. I think I'm going to hold on to it because I want to make sure that I have something to discard to Lily. Oh. That's interesting, but it just gets so owned by reanimating Elish Norn. I would need a counter spell for the Elish Norn. It, it doesn't actually help us, DC. Because if I play Phyrexian Revoker and Grave Titan and then they go reanimate Elish Norn, the Revoker dies. Grave Titan's the only creature. They tick down with Lily and we die. I feel like I don't have a good way to play around them just getting reanimated, but that, that has to be what they got. All right, you know what? I like it, BK. We're just going to hope that's not what they had. This is game two, Rage. I can't name reanimate. That's not how Phyrexian Revoker works. All right. Necromancy. Yeah, no, I like it, BK. I mean, if we, I don't think we could beat that card, and that's kind of where we're at right now. What we can do now is get Mirari Conjecture and get back on... Um... We just couldn't beat Reanimate. We couldn't beat a Reanimate spell. Yeah, we were just daubers. All right. Last game. We have eight minutes, so I'm not worried. Ugin could be good here, potentially. Imperial Feast was still good enough, sadly. Yes, I agree. I think the problem is, is basically what BK said, which I think is true. 
I think with the cards we had in hand, we couldn't really play around the reanimate effect. So if that's the case, you just kind of have to jam into it. I think I'm going to Ugin. Why is Git Probe in the board? Uh, it's something I took out earlier to make room for the Revoker. Oh my god, a squirrel. You cut Doretti? Doretti's pretty good at dealing with reanimated creatures, though. I do like that. It's possible the Phyrexian Revoker is not that great. I mean, it does name Lily of the Veil, but if they ever reanimate Elishnor, it's awful. The conjecture does look Pepega. All right. I could also see cutting one more card to bring in an Ancient Tomb. I think initially... They're a fast deck. I can just take out one of my black sources. All right. Ancient Tomb, get in. Oh my god, this is way too slow. Okay. We can keep this. Send back... Uh, I like playing Revoker on two to name Lily. Counterspell looks good. Ophiomancer looks okay. Maybe Ophiomancer looks the shittiest. Yeah, I like it, Chaos. Let me go ahead and do that. And this does get our black, luckily. Oh my god, I almost played it. Whoops. Sure. I do want to shuffle because my Mox was somewhere in there. That was not good, Molly. It's all the lands I wanted. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to name Revoker on that thing. Let me get Blood Crypt off of this. Oh, maybe I don't even need it because my only black card is actually... <laughs> is actually underneath the... Man, of Walt. Yoink. Gotcha. I mean, we still wanted to get a black source. It's just awkward that we don't have the mana for Counterspell, though. Tide Hollow Sculler. All right, they kind of have to take Blood Chief's Thirst with this. BK, I believe in the Ugin. I believe. I want to believe. Sure. Land. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't even attack. Oh, I have regrets. I wanted to believe. Maybe I was too ambitious. Do I have to block this thing? Nah. Oh, wow. They do have Grizzlebrand in their deck. So, land. Okay. That's something. I wanted to believe, BK. I had big dreams and aspirations for this Ugin. Island enters the reveal card zone, sure. That's true. They also have the Elishnorn that they can draw off Bob. Okay. I can't stop that. I 
Maybe they'll cast a really expensive spell. And they get to spell pierce it? Question mark. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we can get through this, sadly. And this is how our run ended. All right, we shouldn't have boarded a new game. That was bad. I know. The doubter stonks are going up. Yes, rewarded for not believing. I mean, we're just dying to these two shitheads right now. Maybe if we draw a runner, runner land, we can do something. They're just not going to play into our spell peers. I mean, sure, whatever. It's true, Viper. Like, currently we would have, if this were Git Probe, we would have cycled into spell peers, which wouldn't have changed anything. And then we would have gone Treachery. And then, so we would be one card down, basically. Which currently wouldn't have helped. They, I don't know if they were ghosting, they played some stuff weird in game two, for sure. But I don't know if it was necessarily ghosting. They made some plays that, like, didn't play into the cards we had in hand, which is, like, suspicious. Okay. Alright, well, maybe we can steal something off of that. Come on. Hit Grizzlebrand. I mean, I guess at this point they can actually cast it. Grave Titan. Okay, we cannot possibly beat that. If we drop Blue Source, maybe we can steal the Grave Titan? Yeah, Chris Perrin! Yeah, that's what I mean, Molly. Like, I wouldn't say that it's I ghosting necessarily, but it be. did work out so that Either our way, cards in our hand just didn't really do here. that much against them. Can't wait for more humans to see. Love it, Chris! Thank you for the five months. They chose not to go for it. Instead, they're going for Lily. Piercing, this doesn't really do much. <laughs> bye bye, you again. <laughs> you had a medium run. Boop. Oh, they've been the Grave Titan. I guess they're planning on reanimating it. It's a combo, you see, Molly. Okay. Heinous, this actually means we can't play anything. We don't have double black, we don't have double blue. Mountain was the literal worst land we could have drawn. Because in the worst, worst of cases, we could have stolen this so that we could have this back. They could die to Bob. <laughs> but don't we just die to these two? Oh, I guess we have one more turn, technically speaking. All right, sure, sure. They could technically die to Bob. All right, let's play it out. They can technically just roll Grizzlebrand and Elishnorn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. They have makeshift mannequin. You hate to see it. Okay, now we're actually just dead. Oh, dabbers! And they could even play around it because they knew our hand. All right, that was a cool deck, though. Let me wrap up this video. That, that was a cool draft, even if we lost. The haters and doubters got paid off. You hate to see it. I am sorry, believers. We were close. We were really close. Hmm. Oh, actually, being, having Ugin be Gitaxian Probe wouldn't have actually have changed anything. Oh, hey, Whistling Bread. Good games. Your name is always Goobies. I like it. I like it, Gooberino. <laughs> GG's. Um, all right, let me sign off for this deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another Vintage Cube draft. Oh, baby. Um, if you would like to see more of these, they're on YouTube.com slash If you would like to support the stream and channel something super easy, you can do subscribe. Totally free to you. 
helps you know when other videos come out. Also, if you're shopping on channelfireball.com, use the code Gabby, G-A-B-Y, that also directly supports the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later. Bye-bye. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us in the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.